know where they are. Oh, babes. Baby, baby, sweetheart. Hey. Hey, honey. I'm right here. Baby. Come on. I'm holding your hands. Look at me. There we are. Come on. I know. I know. You're going to be okay. Alright? Just breathe with me. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Just like we talked about. Alright? Inhale. Exhale. I know it's hard, I know. Come on, you can do it. Inhale. Exhale. There we go. There we go. Five things that you can see. Tell me. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Good, good. Okay. Four things you can feel. Okay. I know. I know. Touch my face. Or my arms or shoulders if you need to. Tell me what you feel. Okay, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Good. There we are. Hi, honey. Don't apologize. Hey, it's okay. Come on, let me give you a hug. <sighs> I know. No crowds aren't your favorite. It's okay. Kayla told me where you were, and she pointed me in the right direction. Yeah, she's a good friend. Hey, no. Look at me. Don't apologize, okay? It's nothing to be embarrassed about or to be sorry about. I know you do. I know you do, baby. I do too. Except my anxiety is more high functioning, so it's a bit different. Mm hmm. I guess it is a little lucky, but my social battery drains pretty quickly. But it's not about me here. I'm talking about you. Okay? Here, come. Just hug. Again. Hey, it's okay. It's alright. Oh, really? I promise. You're not ruining anything. I'd much rather be here with you in a corner than out there on the dance floor without you. <laughs> yes, I really mean it. Yes, it's very loud. Uh, there's a lot of people. A whole lot, actually. I don't know. I mean, Kayla did say it was going to be a small gathering, but she does know a lot of people. You're right, this might be her version of small. But it's far from our version, isn't it? Hmm? Oh, I know, honey. I know, but you came out here with me. We 
you've decided to try and come out to the party. I'm so proud of you for that. I know that's not easy. And I'm glad you did. No, hey, don't talk about yourself like that. You didn't ruin anything. You're not a failure. You're not a loser either. What are you then? Well, you're the love of my life. And somebody who just doesn't like crowds a lot. Which I understand. I know. I know. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Exactly. I'm always here for you. Because I care about you. Because I love you. Exactly. Never have to go through it alone. What do you do? What do you mean? Uh-huh. Well, for starters, you could always fight me. Call me. Text me. You know, I always have my phone in my pocket and the vibration when I get notifications. They're always very, uh, very apparent. Yeah, every time. Ever since my brother broke my phone, well, kind of broke it, the notification buzz has always been over the top. I don't know how, but he did it. I think it comes in handy, though, and that's why I haven't switched out. Exactly. So if you need me, no, for sure to check my phone. Baby. Hey, look at me. Hey. You're never, ever a bother to me. Okay? Never a bother. Never a problem. No. Not even when I'm having fun. I mean, I was having fun, but I'd rather be with you. Make sure you're okay than to be on the dance floor and not even know what's going on. Because I don't want you to be alone. Especially in times like this. Yes, of course I mean it. Hey, look at me. Just because this has happened in the past where you've been ditched for some fun, it's not me, okay? I'm here, and I, I've always been here when you needed me. I'll always be here. Exactly. You're never alone. There you are. Now you're catching on. Besides, we've been dating for about nine months now. I would hope you would get the point. <laughs> yes. I love you too, sweetie. Here, come on. Hug me again. Uh, there. Do you feel better? A little bit more? Good. Well, now that we're here and no longer in a state of panic. Yeah? Are you sure? Well, I know you wouldn't mind us staying so that I would have some more fun. Oh, don't tell me that you weren't thinking about that. I know that's the reason and the only reason why you'd want to stay. 
Why do I know this? Well, I have something called knowledge about you. And, well, I know that you would rather me have fun and let you suffer rather than wanting to be what you think is selfish and take us home. I think I'm going to take the reins on this one, throw in the towel and call it a night. I mean, it is fun here, but I mean, I'm starting to get worn out myself. I know it's barely started, but that's fine. I think we had enough time to have some snacks, a drink, talk to some people. Yeah. It's time for me to dance. Oh, I'm sure she'd understand. It's her party, but... Well, she knows that we have a limited social battery, both of us. I'm sure she wouldn't mind us leaving early. Yeah, of course I will. Come on. Let's get up. <sighs> Dancing won't really wear you out. Or, in this case, just hopping around to the music like a weirdo. <laughs> There's that award winning smile I fell in love with. Oh, well, I did fall in love with every little bit of you. And I mean every little bit, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Well, what we'll do is you go and wait by the front door, okay? I'll go find Kayla and tell her that we're leaving. She'll be completely understanding and then we can go home if you like. Oh. We totally could. Instead, we'll go to a quiet cafe, grab us a decaf drink considering it's getting late, and then we'll go home. Maybe play some video games, get some real food, and just decompress. Then we'll go to sleep. Sounds like a good plan? Okay, good. All right. You head over to the door right now. I'll be there in a couple minutes. See you there. Oh, and baby, I love you very much. <laughs>